good morning to all this class we will discuss about gas welding here we used oxy acetylene gases is used throughout that uh, process gas flame is used for uh, melting the edges after melting the edges a particular uh, pieces are joined with the help of uh, gas flame welding is done using that filler rod we are not used that uh, electrode type it's a filler type uh, rod we used the particular process gas welding process without uh, applying pressure without uh, applying pressure so already said uh, acetylene gas and oxygen gas is used the particular process acetylene gas is used to producing flame and the oxygen gas is induced that burning so depends that applications are need we have to use uh, how much proportion need for that uh, particular process two gases are mixed required proportions in the welding torch and flame is produced at the tip of the torch is a is a tip of that uh, torch is that uh, flame it will be come out from the torch this is that uh, components the metals are melted and have to join with the support of flame so the flame it came out from that uh, torch it will be very uh, how much proportions you have to use the base on things that uh, torch it will be deliver that uh, flame so edges of uh, edges of work pieces and filler rod are melted by the heat of the flame and the weld is uh, formed so this is that uh, basic uh, principles here we are not used any power source or power supply of that part. this is that uh, unique compared to that uh, other welding process generally three types of uh, flames uh, produced during the process the flame uh, so based on that uh, how much uh, proportion how much percentage of uh, gas uh, used or present in that uh, particular process a neutral flame carburizing or reducing flame or uh, oxidizing flame neutral flame so in this uh, neutral flame uh, so oxygen acetylene gas is mixed equal proportions when the equal quantity of oxygen acetylene gas are used so when we need well, when we join that uh, steel cast iron aluminium or copper that time we have to prefer to mix that uh, proportions in equal conditions so 50 percentage of uh, oxygen and 50 percentage of acetylene so neutral flame has uh, two zones uh, we clearly have to shown that here uh, two zone uh, first one is uh, this particular uh, zone second one is the uh, big one sharp brighter inner cone the sharp brighter inner cone and that uh, bluish outer cone so during the process we use that uh, equal proportion of gas we get that uh, neutral flame so this much this types of uh, flame it will be come out from that uh, torch so already said is uh, prefer for that uh, cast iron aluminium copper uh, welding the steel second is a carburizing or neutral flame so when the quantity of uh, acetylene gas is more than oxygen acetylene is so higher compared to that oxygen this flame has uh, three zones uh, one second one and third one the they are bright inner cone bright inner cone this one and white intermediate uh, feather this one white intermediate feather then the bluish outer cone this is that uh, third one this is that uh, third one this is that uh, second this is that uh, first one so three types of uh, zones come out during that uh, process so this types of uh, flame this types of proportions it will be help for a uh, non ferrous magnesium this types of materials you have to use it to join these types of flame they are prefer for the particular flame so third one is a oxidizing flame so when the quantity of oxygen so in that first case oxygen acetylene is equal proportion carburizing or reducing flame in that uh, acetylene is uh, more compared to that uh, oxygen we got uh, three types of flames 
So in this case, oxygen is more than acetylene. Uh, here we formed two zones: bright inner cone and bright outer cone. This is that uh, bright uh, inner one and that uh, bright uh, outer cone. These types of uh, flame is used for to join that uh, welding brass, branch, and uh, manganese. So depends that applications and need. We have to use that uh, gases. What are the advantages of uh, gas welding? Flame temperatures can be controlled. So here the two knob is uh, given. So one is for acetylene gas, one is for oxygen. So that hoses it will be connected through that uh, torch. So we have to adjust it. How much uh, gases to need? We have to adjust it. Then you have to get that uh, flame through this uh, torch. We want to uh, neutral flame. We want to carburizing. We want to oxidizing. So, based on that applications, you have to use it. You have to use it to control it. Use it in place where the electricity is not available. So, in this particular process, throughout that welding process, so no need to power sources. For example, if you need to shield metal, TIG or MIG, if you go for friction or friction steel, a power source, power supply is needed. But in these cases, uh, no need to worry about the power sources. We need, we use for that uh, gas, oxygen and acetylene gases. Cost of welding equipment uh, is less uh, compared to that uh, other process like uh, MIG welding, friction steel welding. So, so limitations uh, of the particular process uh, is a prefer for that uh, to join the thin sheets. So, so one of that uh, limitations. Thank you.